At the top of this hour, I talked about my editorial, the unrest in Venezuela. Joining us now is an expert on that subject, Mary Anastasia O'Grady, columnist with the Wall Street Journal. <laughs> Now, uh, you, <laughs> saw, you saw what I had to say. Yes. I'm saying America should not do anything in the immediate short term because to do anything would help Maduro and um, gang up Latin America against us. What do you think America should do? Well, I don't think that's the reason not to do anything. But let me back up for a minute. Anybody who says Venezuela is finished, I give you Zimbabwe. OK, they 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 had hyperinflation. Sure. They have the same party in 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 power. Uh, you know, they just won an election. Who knows if it was fair? And anybody who says that Venezuela has nothing to do with us, I give you Afghanistan, where a lot of the problems that we received on 9-11 were cooked up in Afghanistan. So I think it's very important to understand that Venezuela in the situation it is right now is a threat to the United States. There are problems there. They've, they, they instituted direct flights back and forth to Tehran and to Damascus. They've been bringing people from the Middle East. They love migration crises because migration crises allow them to plant people that they want in the rest of South America in those mobs of people that are crossing the border, which is what you have in Venezuela right now. I would agree that we shouldn't do anything unilaterally. Um, there's a lot of interest in South America because of the destabilization that's going on with this, this government in somehow trying to contain this problem. So anything that we do has to be a coalition and maybe even a coalition that's not led by us. I mean, Colombia is very interested in, in solving the problem. Brazil, Argentina. But what would the coalition do? I mean, the well, idea of invading, that's not no, going no, to happen, no, no, obviously. No, but no. some quiet action by the CIA and some other yeah, secret I, services? My, the two things that I think are, are most uh, appropriate would be, first of all, on the financial front, sort of trying to isolate the country. And remembering, by the way, that Venezuela is run by Cuba right now. And the path to fixing Venezuela goes through Cuba. So the, you have to get a coalition of people who agree that Cuba is misbehaving and that Cuba also should pay a price for what it's doing there in terms of the financial markets. And, of course, the other thing is I do think that, um, you know, covert activity is underrated. I know that we went through a period of time where we said, well, we're not going to do that anymore. But, in fact, that's one of the most effective ways. Infiltrate, find out what they're doing with our other enemies because, again, this is not just a banana republic going down. This is a country that is using, or a movement that is using a foothold in South America to basically plan and, and, and inflict more damage around the region. You set me straight, Mary. No, no, <laughs> seriously, that, that's really good. The idea that they are collapsing and are just going to go away, refuted by Zimbabwe, good point. Yeah. And the idea that they are just benignly collapsing, Forget that. They're a danger to us. I think so. I think so. I appreciate yeah. that, Mary. Very good. Nice to be here. Yeah. You might be back. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate it.